Hello, what's happening, everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing Saturday. Very happy to be here. Some more Blurtra action. We're all headed into loop four on this Blurtra run. It's been an interesting one. Uh, we're about to pick a set of blessings, 10 more blessings to go with this. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, we took reduced defense yesterday, and it's been kind of tough, but we are kind of a powerhouse build, so uh, we're just going to try to keep it rolling. Uh, here in Blurtra, we have to take a lot higher level curses than Blurse, so uh, it definitely feels different. Uh, you unlock Blurtra by losing a run in Cursed uh, Ultra mode. So you can just start a run and then flee, and then it'll unlock Blurtra. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look at these uh, blessings we got access to here. Okay, so we got Add Meddler, Versatile 8, Monster Right Pain, Treasure Seeker, Lucky Start, Mana Spring and stun specialist. I'm really leaning towards um, Meddler here because we have the blessing bottom three level up and if we add in Meddler, we're going to have three blues on the bottom. So at the start of each loop, we're going to have three level two blue heroes and that seems like a maybe a way to start breaking the game. Nice trim. I'm glad you enjoyed that one. I think we'll be back for some more Blurse mode at some point. It's trying out Blurcher right now. It's been uh, interesting. And with that, I think we take Lucky Start as well. Turn one, two extra rerolls. We have a good turn one. That sounds nice. Turn one is uh, arguably the most critical round. All right, got to equip these crappy items. What does this do? Immune to healing, immune to shields, right? Uh, we're not really healing on this run, so it's all good. Add Sticky to all sides. Who wants Sticky on all sides here? Uh, I think Alloy's fine with Sticky. He can be the uh, the clunker here. He can hold on to the bad stuff. Yeah, this is the most characters I've had on a single um, run here. Do I need to go down one on the UI? I kind of do, huh? Yeah, I'll go down one. Okay, so this is damage for mana. This is four mana, so it's a five damage hit. Uh, enemies all summoning Slimers is kind of annoying, but... You know, here we are. All right, we'll take that too. Jester have a better side. Jester has reroll and plus mana, so we're going to do better anywhere else. Okay, that's sticky. I bet Hoarder can do better. That is basically Dabble's best side. Let's roll this. Uh, Heavy two hits, fine. Keep it going, Jester. You can do it. I believe in you. All right. Probably should have taken the one, but here we go. All right. So we have five damage hit on Sparky. Might as well drop that on the wolf, huh? Okay. What is this? Slay an enemy with exactly three HP. Fair. Let's go ahead and flick this bee. Let's uh, zap this bee. Oh, that's right. We have Flighty here. I remember now. That's turn one. All right. So our opening, um, our opening round should feel pretty good, at least for the uh, the moment, because we have these three blues. Yes, I absolutely want to level up uh, Metaller here and get uh, the possibility of summoning bones out of there. Let's go, dude! Our inventory sheet's so big. That's fair. This is by far the most characters I've ever had in a single run. It's been pretty sweet. Am I flighty? Is that what it is? I do. So damage enemies move back. Fair. Uh, let's roll this for mana sign since we had the big hit on Sparky here. Okay, two damages. Dabble's best side. Um, exert hit. We can do better than that. All right, pain hit's going to be fine. Let's just take this mana as well. Mana, mana, mana. We've got a seven damage hit here on Sparky. Hell yeah. I'm probably just going to go for the boar then. 
Just take the boar down to one. Okay, what is this spell? Burn one damage to all heroes and monsters cooldown. So if we hit the rat and then we use burn here, boom, get roasted. All right, we should give it a flick first. A flick and then a burn. All right, let's hit the slime lit. We got this one. Yeah, exactly, Rorschach. That's why is, I think this, this strat's going to work. My previous times adding in um, characters, including the runs I've done with my wife on Blur Tro, which is just a couple. Uh, we've had trouble with adding character in, but with the way these characters got added on this run, it feels uh, quite good. Learn Poultice. Learn the spell Poultice. Single cast. What does it do? Oh, heal two. Single cast. Okay. Well, healing's not very useful for us, honestly. Uh, I think I'm going to take the seedlings or we'll replace a, a inferior side on the alloy. Yeah, I think you really want to have uh, extra characters added in in combination with the um, characters level up perk. Seems fair. That's a lot of a lot of stuff dying there, bud. Ah, right. The archer rolled the pain side. That's tough for them. For me, though, not tough at all. All right, fiend's gonna die here if I don't kill the boar. We do have enough rerolls here. I'm gonna go for it. Nice, good hit. The worst thing this run has going on is the uh, reduced healing. Where is it at? The sickly is pretty bad, too. This one right here, reduce defense. Minus one to all coming heal and shields. I don't know if I'd take this again, but uh, we're going to see how it plays out. Okay, so we got big hit on the boar again. That's six. That's enough. Gonna go for a flick here. We're gonna go for a zap here. Gonna. Oh, I see. This hoarder uh, site is actually really bad. Let's reroll that. Don't really want guilt. Yep, it's a two-value curse indeed. Scrapper's uh, kind of hilariously bad with our minus shielding. Okay, the Bloodlust is certainly efficient damage. I'm going to take Spellblade over Dabbler. More mana, more better. Okay, we got Infuse here as well, nice. They Spellblade Caldera is a... Or Sparky's a good combo. Okay, we keep rolling this on Sparky, which is very handy. Let's roll it out. We got four rolls here. Okay, there's a hit. I mean, a mon is fine, but I want the big mon. That one right there, that's the one I want. This is fine, too. All right, sick, nasty, number one. Here we go. Got a 10 damage hit right now. That is so good. Flick, knock him back, it does. Um... I'm gonna imbue the spell blade so we get the mana back with this. Snap the slime lid, we'll hit the alpha. Then I'm gonna use burn. Great. We'll replace the right side with zero damage skill. Not like the, the worst item. Clumsy Hammer is hilariously bad, so let's take Foil. It could be useful later. Okay.
Um, Mono Dead is actually okay here, but I think I'm going to take Rushed. I don't think we're really winning this run off of, or progressing this run with items right now. Okay, well... I'm gonna roll that. Three mana seem good. I want Sparky's side if I can get it. Okay, poison's probably not a unfair thing to grab here. Yes, and is this Sparky? Yeah. Oh, I want the big hit on Sparky, but I can see that maybe we don't get that. Oh, never mind. Never mind, it's all coming up aces. I'm gonna take the one mana here and see how this turn plays. All right, so if we kill the barrel, the quartz dies because it gets down to that pip. So they will also summon more slimes. Nobody's dying this round, uh, fortunately. And there's six damage right there, so let's just blast the barrel. Quartz is down. And then we can go like... You know, I should zap on the slate. That's a lot more efficient. Pretty uh, schmoove start here. All right, I definitely like Whirl for the one damage all. That seems nice. Bard's also good for cantrips, but since we are to get minus one to all shielding, the Bard is kind of uh, kind of bad. The only upside of taking Bard here is this else. We get shield one cleanse on blank sides, and it's very likely we have a blank side if we get to turn two. But instead of that, if we just went on turn one, that'd be nice. All right, three damages, basically world's best side. Mana, growth looks good. Uh, there's better sides on Spellblade. Ooh, copycat. What's copycat going to copycat here? Copycat charged if we get Sparky. Let's throw these back. Got three rolls here. Okay, there's Sparky, so we can get charged on the copycat. Sick. So good. Let's just take this in and see where we're at here, huh? All right, so we're at six with that. We can kill the Seduel. And then we can also kill the Blind. Let's hit the Gobbo for three. And two here. Later, Tainer. We're cruising right now. It's crazy, man. Place the middle side with heal three cleanse. That's actually pretty useful. Heal three cleanse on Alloy, probably. What was this one again? Immune to healing, immune to shields. Uh, we'll give that to uh, Whirl, I guess. Agaeus. Alright, Copycat looks good. I mean, just picked up Cantrip, but if we roll that charge side, it basically wins the fight. So I'm going to hold it for that reason. That's also good with the body gain. Mm, okay, well. I guess a good side on Sparky, but. Imminent convinced. Yeah, it's basically world's best side. I think I'm going to throw back Spellblade. We're not getting charged, which we aren't. Poison's good. Alright, great roll. It turns out having a bunch of extra rerolls at the start is pretty nice. All right, there's no reason I can't kill the ogre this round, at least. Maybe the slime or two, which is summoning two slimes. Let us... Cast Infuse as our first spell. Uh, it's a blessing, uh, right? So, you know, there is a mode called Raid Mode, however, that does uh, exactly what you're describing. 
Okay, let's hit here. Let's hit here. Let's zap the archer. Use flick first here on the ogre. Uh, burn seems okay after I get this out. Maybe before I do that, I hit the ogre here. Okay, he's dying. Interesting. Alright, we should be able to kill Sarcophagus here. Uh, Sarcophagus reads, I flee at the end of the turn 3 and drop a tier 3 to 5 item if defeated. I want that tier 3 to 5 item. Definitely prefer Night here. Because he has attacks, and he also has his parry skill, which can generate block from his exert side, which is very nice. With no ability to block, we're going to do this. Can't be healed, sure. Middle side, heal three cleanse. Who's getting this? I think I think it's night, actually. Our ability to block is just so reduced. We're we're leaning heavily into winning fights early or in the first two to three rounds. Alright, sarcophagus is given vampire a chompins, and this chompins is worth 14 damage right now. Holy guacamole, that's gonna be difficult. However, if we set this up with a good charge shot, I mean, maybe, maybe we can just dunk the sarcophagus round one here. Not out of the question. Sticky, right? Sticky, sticky, sticky. Hmm. Spellblade has to be better than that. Nothing, I guess, charged on the, the ninja's side would be better. The copycat side would be ideal. Okay, I'm going to take these two, though. Let's check this turn out. I believe we can get a kill here. Uh, for starters, I want to do one damage to all to uh, remove one of these pips. Okay, mana, mana, mana mana. So let's hit a null. Let's burst this null. Um, let's lick this slime. Oh, wait, we're losing mana as we speak. Okay, hold on. Hold on. So maybe we don't burn here first. Maybe we gotta knock things back is the goal. I mean, this essentially refunds one mana, so let's try this real quick. Also gets the null within zap range. That's nine. Okay, everybody's now on the back row. We're gonna burst, we're gonna burn. We're gonna burst again, and so let us hit for four. That's not like it's not bad. Let me back this up real quick. There's gotta be a simpler way to do this. I mean, or there's not. That's also possible. It's the flight he's getting in the way here. We got a lot of uh things to get around. We did start with the infused spell blade, which is maybe, maybe a little dubious here. Let's grab this mana to start. Let's go burst on the knoll. On the knolls, rather. Then we can hit this one. We can infuse here for this slimelet. Uh, we can flick the sarcophagus.
we can burn. So somehow this ended up worse. How'd that work? Uh, KB and V, right now we're right on the edge of that because we have three hero level ups as part of our blessings, so we're pretty close to being able to accomplish that, yeah. I mean, this is all fine. I'm just, uh, I'm kind of debating if I, uh, maybe just kill the gnolls this round and, you know, call that good. Kill the gnolls, get the armor off the sarcophagus, and then let vampire die and go ham. Seems not inefficient. Yeah, the problem is that, like, everything's up front, so it's, like, pretty tough to do that. Not saying that's uh, bad, but yeah. Okay, there we go. Everything's back now. We can zap uh, this knoll to regain the damage. I don't think there's a point in viewing here, is what it is. This is a better version of uh, what we did. It's a good suggestion. Thank you. So I think what I do here is I clear all of the adds this round with bursts, and then uh, I use Sparky. So we're going to be at uh, only one mana on Sparky, and that's okay. Actually, let's leave the Slimelets. They're not doing anything. Archer is rather inoffensive as well. Let's just remove this Knoll, and then we'll have a... Uh... Oh wait, he's already on the back row? Hold on. Okay. So we can burst here, and then we can hit with Spark for five. Then we can cast afterwards. I got like majorly turned around in my head on that one. All right, we're looking we're looking great here. Well, not vampires so much, but when you're getting hit for 14 on the opening round, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Cleave's probably good here. Mm, two damage, self heal, fine. This round was not as strong as the previous, and that's okay. Alright, sarcophagus is down. I repeat, sarcophagus is down. Mana jelly and single use and cantrip to all mana, mana gain sides, okay? Worse items too, or burst has depletes. Cost plus one mana each time it's used. Dang, dude. I mean, I do think we're getting to the point where Burst is less valuable uh, than it was, but it's still very strong. Just thinking if we have three leveled up uh, blues at the start of combat, uh, then Burst is less valuable, but still very good. Let me get all caught up here. Sorry for being a bit behind. Internal Neon, thanks for 118 months. Kurt Soon, thanks for 102. Enjoy that lurk. And 3D Res, thanks for 101 months. Thank you. Worse items, too, is really bad if we don't have item quality, because we'll actually get cursed items at the start of the loops. So that's too much. That's too much. Now let's try worse, too. Burst cost plus one mana each time it's cast. That's tough, but fair. Shift my row across by one. Plus one HP. Okay. Fine. Let's go cantrip on the Spellblade. That's a great one. That's world's best side. 
I do think worst is going to hurt quite a bit, but at the same time, we do have the... We have all of these spells, and we're going to have spells to start each round, too. So it seems uh, somewhat reasonable. Oh, yeah. Sparky getting a dunk on the Fnatic here? Sure feels like it. Uh, how much you got left? Only one side left. Okay, we'll lock that in, then. All right, it's got 11 damage hit here on Fnatic. It looks great. Two damage growth. Uh, I mean, zapping doesn't feel bad here. Burst also feels fine. Let's hit the quartz, and then we'll go for a burn. You know, before we do that, I'm going to hit uh, the imp here, and then we're going to burn. Maximize those values. Flick a slimelet. Zap a slimelet. Okay, well, our burst got a little out of control there. There's definitely a way to finish this, uh, that round. Alright, Captain's pretty sweet. Uh, Davilus is also pretty awesome. It's good consistent damage. I'm going to take Dabalist here. I don't know. I like the Monogain on Spellblade, though. I think Captain's a pretty comparable uh, one to roll. Immune to healing, immune to shields, fine. Put this over here. Yo, Neko Selly, thank you so much for five months. Really appreciate that. Thanks, man. I get everybody moved to the back row in order to activate this combo, but it seems pretty reliable. Do I go for two mana on Sparky, or do I go for the, the big hit? I don't want the big hit. Let's fish for it. We got rerolls. We might as well use them. That's a nice one. Loving what Spellblade's doing right now. Alright, 12 damage hit definitely just nuke something. I think we'd be having a good round here. Uh, what do we want to do? The most threatening here. Like, I don't like the Seduels. Militia's also a jerk. So these two are killing each. And Captain's being killed by the Seduel. Bear. Go for Flick, hit for three, let's burn, burst, zap, to save him is two, almost saved. Not save fiend. I'm okay with having fiend die here, but maybe I, uh, maybe I just give him a block. Militia's dying anyways. That looks fair. Okay, he died anyways. Fair enough. Oh, right. He was sickly, so he had pain on that side. That's a, that's a tough one. I'm gonna take this on Sparky, too. There's not really a way to save Sparky unless we go Infuse. I guess Infuse isn't a bad spell here. Ouch. Well, do I do that if I don't have to? Probably not. Oh, we lost access to Burn as well. That's tough. Go flick and zap. Burst and burst. Okay, well, vampire's living here, so that's good. I go for the imbue. 
I don't think so. I think I'm going to save the mana for next turn. Let me just hit the slimelet and then uh, infuse here so the Sparky's not on nothing. Slime doesn't technically need to be hit here either. Go like this. Eh, yeah, let's just take him out. Okay. Yeah, this is where it's gonna get weird for us. Okay, what if um what if I infuse Captain and just kill this bones? Yeah, unfortunately with that, the guy's still attacking. I guess we like this. That looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and infuse as well and then call it good. Okay, vampires on pain. That's tough. I guess with an infusion, we're out of that. A sparky or jester? Jester. Uh, you know, Cleave isn't so bad here. Okay, looks like we're just good then. Alright, Fiend being low is tough. Add single use and plus two pips to the right hand side. Easy on Spellblade, we already got Cantrip. Oh, this is different. Two pips to the left-hand side. Okay. Um, let's give that to Sparky, then. That's a good hit. I think we gotta take the self-heal on Fiend. It's really the only way we're getting out of that. Leave also sounds good, because we can push more stuff to the back row. Mm, definitely unopposed to copycat for either charge or cleave. Two mana. Come on, Jester. One more, please. Fair enough. Oh, this is a double chain cleave. Interesting. This is only hitting for three. Do I have a way to gain mana here? I don't. What if we went here and then... here. I see, since it's not range, that's difficult. Uh, I could opt to hit the archer here, bringing this to five. I mean, kill the ghost outright, which would be nice. Only thing I'm not liking about that play is that the fiend still dies. So... What does this look like? Fiend, fiend lives. Ghost is doing self-damage. It's going to proc their uh, invulnerability. This is tricky, man. Okay, what if... What if, since this is a cleave chain, go like this and then hit... Let's say the Slimer here. And then we uh, hit here. And then go for a two damage cleave instead. I think we're getting somewhere with this. Okay, one health, one health, so burn set up pretty good here. And use A burst here, bring him down to one. So using burn here will kill three enemies. It's very mana efficient. And we'll give this little slime with a flick, huh? 
All right, I dub the adequate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Adequate's what we shoot for around here. Yeah, it really is, Twinge. Uh, this is a pretty cool run. I don't know how long it's going to make it because our curses are especially nasty, but the extra characters are certainly helping. Hoping to find like an underworld deal or something uh, to have uh, heroes have no downside to dying. That'd be, I think, the ultimate for me right now. All right, definitely big fan of Warlock. Uh, the self-damage aspect of Warlock is very difficult to manage uh, since we have limited healing options. But even with that, uh, the Bloodlust uh, mana gain is huge, and Blaze is a really nasty spell. Blaze, in fact, for this fight uh, itself, we get everything knocked to the back broken, and essentially one-shot Baron. Okay, well, that's definitely good. Uh, good, good. So we're now hitting for... Well, a lot. I think Klee is good for knocking stuff to the back row. Uh, Vampire can do better. We can get mana. Great. Great. Um... You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll this for maximum slammage. Let's go. Okay, it didn't work out the way I wanted, and that's all right. Okay, we're at 12 here. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Where'd it go? What happened? You fall down? That's done. At cantrip to all sides, if there are two or fewer living heroes, diving suit, replace the two right sides to the hero below's base sides. Hero below, what, uh, two right sides, so these two. Uh, base sides, there is a base side here, so hero below. Fiend would get, uh, the two single manas. Hero below's base sides. Sparky would pick up. Eh. Minus one pip to all heal self heal sides. I think that's exactly where this run's going. We're already at reduced healing, so we might as well lean into that, I feel. Not bad. That gives Warlock one more spot. What is, uh, what does Knight get here? Uh, heart. You know, the extra heart might be a little bit, uh, saving. Fair suggestion. We know that's a good start. Let's roll it. Okay. Come on again here. Come on, Sparky. Right, there's Sparky. Sparky's been super clutch this run. All right, if we're hitting for 11, that does one shot an ogre, and that seems like a pretty worthwhile venture to me. Right, let's go burst here. I mean, burn's looking okay. Go for burn. Then we can uh, burst. Who's hitting? Who's hitting? Warlock. Cool. Leave it like that.
That's it right there. Hit that slime. All right, Ace for Fiend. Ace has draw, target one, ally boost. Plus one to Pips this turn. <laughs> Definitely a fan of Agent. Quad use is super useful for this flighty perk. So you're going to get random sides each time here. Oh, hey, look at this. I'm going to three hit damage attack. Plague plus one pip for each poison on all characters. Oh, that would be better in a different situation. Uh, casting pain here. That's okay on a sniper. I guess we make a sniper dunk themselves. Still think quad use would be preferred. Roll it. Got him. Thanks. Okay. One, two, three. Everybody's in the back row now. I feel like if I hit here and then I hit here, that's a good deal. Also a pretty good deal just to knock everything back. Yeah, it looks a little bit wasted on Demon there. Maybe Demon's not the target for the first round. Let's get as many kills as we can to build up the hit on this uh, Sparky. So we're at 8 right now. We need 11 to kill Demon. Doesn't seem likely, but also doesn't seem impossible. Okay, well, Burn's a uh, net even here. Yeah. Zap it. You know what? I, I dubbed that adequate. Good enough. Good enough. gonna add pain it doesn't matter we good we good okay hold on <laughs> kind of lucky there that fiend had the uh summon bones on that add group growth to all heal self heal sides uh, okay. I mean, it's not, it's not nothing. That here, I guess. No. Put that, um... Here. I don't really have a good place for the seed now, and that's fine. I haven't been wanting to use it when I see it. It's probably a good sign it's, uh, I need to move it along. Okay, well, I mean, Sparky dunking a chomp on round one would be nice. 
Okay, quad use is 80% of killing the Hydra, and this cleave is the rest, so good to know. Okay, let's take that on Warlock. You know, I think Fiend taking a regular attack here is fine, because if we hit the Chomp, it's going to be pretty nasty. Amount of damage here is actually less important than having damage, period. So we're going to go one, and we're going to cleave here. Two, three, four, five. Fiend has six health, so we can blast here, and then we can hit here and heal and burn. The Troll King. Now, Artificer is big win right now, because that's two damage to all spells. Let's go. What is this side? If Duel's condition is met, gain the effects of Plague. So duel is, if the enemy's targeting me, it does that, and then plague is for poison, so we'd have to roll the poison side on Artificer to combo with that. I think the quad use is universally more useful here. Oh my god. Hyper growth gets plus three pips this fight after you, so that's worth fishing for. I'm just going to take the quad use here. We got some big hits, and we can take out the slate like this. Also, holy guacamole right now. Yeah, shifter's a rad thing. Let's take the cleave, too. I've been liking the ability to knock stuff to the back row with that. Um, okay. Well... Well, the Troll King did exist at one point. Good for him. Let's just do burn here. Oh, I don't have burn anymore. Okay, cool. Qatar. Add trio to all damage signs. Three times as the same pips as the two previous dice this turn. What's our most common pip? You know, that's uh, definitely not bad for Agent. It's okay for uh, Captain, too. Let's go, let's go Agents. All right, curse time. Depleted spells plus deplete. Add deplete to all spells. Cost plus one mana each time it's cast. Death shield all monsters upon death. Shield one to all allies. That's also very annoying. I feel like Death Shield is a little bit more manipulated than uh, Depleted Spells. They're both bad. Uh, I very much fear Random Curse here, because Random Curse could be slow spells, limiting us to two spells per round. And if we get that, we're done. So I think we can't take Random anymore um, on this run. I've got a very spicy kitty looking at me right now. Uh, I think this would just be plus one on burst. Well, let's give it a try and see how bad it actually is. We'll see. To, uh, to our advantage, we're going to have a lot of spells to use on every run, because we have three blues in the party, so uh, that does offset the malice quite efficiently. Goal for this round is definitely to stun Wiz if we can. Mana, please. Thank you.
5 damage, 7 damage. And just stun here as well. We'll see if this goes up by one or two. Huh. No, it's three. Okay, so the first one was three because of the extra cast for a spell, so it only goes up by one per cast. That's good. Very nice. Let me see if this works the way I want it to. It does. Nice. All right. This summons a Slimer. Ooh, not quite. Let's, uh, hit here then. Let's zap the Slimelet. Let's hit the Wiz. Let's cast, uh, Blades. Okay, this is all fine. We were way further ahead on that one than I thought we were. Alright, Kronos or Fate? I have been very much enjoying uh, Sparky here, so I think I'm going to keep Fate. Uh, Travi, only if we use two three-pip dice afterwards. So it would have to be three there. Maybe that works. I'm not sure. I'm going to go for this. So we're just going to time stone the Fate. They'll roll through their pips really quick, but that's all good. Abacus. Take this off and go uh, Abacus. Wild Seed. Yo, Gonzo the Sock Puppet. Thanks for 123 months. Thank you. Oh, nice. The growth went off on Fate. There's the... Uh, group growth so all of the pips on this side the middle side went up we drew it right away that's handy we also drew a bonus one here yeah i gotta say that bloodlust right now seems pretty good with blades pretty good i'd like to nuke the barrel here I can. Ooh, we got the group growth on that too. That's sick, man. Are you out of sides? Not quite. Okay, so we're gonna go here. Uh, let's hit the. Let's hit the barrel here. Oh, the barrel went to the back row, of course. So I'd had to hit the barrel for six in order to kill it. Maybe this is worthwhile using a, a blaze here. Let's just try that. Because if I don't use blaze now, we got to go through the other two. Okay, let's do that. And then let's cast... Oh, I didn't kill the other shade? What the heck? Why did I not kill this one? What? Very confused why I didn't do that. Oh, because a slimelet gets spawned and killed by the barrel right away. Got it. Well, in that case, I'm probably gonna wait for the uh, the shades here. Let's cast um, let's cast blades first to get as many damage enemies on screen as possible. So we get a ten mana gain here. Sick, nasty. I think with the ten mana gain, we just go for it. 
All right, let's hit the barrel first here. Let's go here. Let's uh, go. Yeah, we'll start with blades. And mana's good. Huh. Okay, well, if that's the case, I got a plan now. Let's... Go here. Bullseye at engage to middle comp two times versus targets with full HP. It's gonna be a um, sparky special here. Looking good, man. Oh, group growth activating nice. Well, we know bloodlust is gonna be good. It was gonna take quad use in right now. Uh, for safety, four damage on captains. Okay, I'd prefer cleave, but we can get by without that now. One more. Roll the engage uh, spark attack. Or not. Uh, okay, mana gain here. Let's just start with blades so we get as many damage characters as possible for this bloodlust. That brings Artificer to 12 damage. That kills the demon here. Uh, we're going to zap the Slimelet. Okay, we're at 11 right now, huh? Definitely good enough. Inevitable. We got a pretty good build for Inevitable here. Yeah, I'm not opposed to Wizard or Valkyrie, but I think both these characters are performing fine. Maybe we take Valkyrie here instead of Knight. Gonna have kind of the same items on them, but it gives us more outs if something goes terribly wrong, which is uh, not impossible here. Yeah, I don't think I want the dodge. We'll go for Sticky Sides on... Sticky side on Captain. Also, another Resurrect here. Let's go. Okay, well, multi-hit's good. I kind of want to go for the Bloodless side on the Warlock, but that might be a little bit greedy. Just being able to cast uh, multiple Blades here would be, I think, the primary goal. We're two mana off that. Very likely with fate that happens. Let's keep the four damage on Warlock here. Okay, that's great. That's bonus damage versus full health targets with charge. Okay, we got the two mana to cast double blades here. Amazing. Okay, could have been better. Could have been a lot worse. Uh, we are looking at 22 damage hit here with Sparky. So I think to begin, I'm going to try this. That's a lot of HP down, inevitable. 
Potentially setting up a kill next round. Not out of the question at all. And I see we could do two more damage here. Four more damage with blades. So let's start there. Um, so we're going to begin by leaving here. I'm going to hit here and here. I have two hits or one? Yeah, we gotta lead with this right now. 24 damage is a lot of damages. I guess if we get burst next round, we can just slap him with that. That'll do it. Okay, we're at 12 right now. Let's, let's whirl. Let's do it again. Let's, uh, let's do it one more time for good measure. Okay, that left us with 11 here. Uh, turn's definitely good. I'm just gonna leave it as is. What is this one? Heal two, spell rescue. Might as well heal two. Yo, Zero Dragon, thanks for six months. Appreciate that half year. Thanks a lot, man. Okay, well, the fight's over after this, so I'm just going to take this and, uh... Oh, that's our spell to kill Inevitable with. Never mind. Dang it. Oh, hey, if I take the heal, I can do that. We just go here and then here. And then we hit Blaze. You done. All right, we made it through another loop here. That was a pretty clean loop. It did have a few little hiccups there. I definitely uh, feeling our inability to heal or reduced healing. I'm going to click on the blessings before the end here. Okay, well, poison immunity is sick. Uh, monster HP down is also very cool. Uh, versatile 2 is nice. Every fifth dice self-shield, though we have reduced, uh, reduced healing, so probably not on that. You know, monster HP down is a consideration here because uh, that means that all the slimelets that spawn only have one health. Uh, so that's pretty useful, reducing that health down. Uh, it makes a lot more spells useful. Yeah, slice or burn, which is not unlikely. I guess actually slice isn't going to be there because our... Uh, heroes are going to level 2 right away, but burn's possible. Um, uh, any cleave becomes much more effective, too. Oh, also, by reducing monster HP by 1, 3 health enemies will no longer summon slimes. So that's uh, that's Sniper and uh, several others. So we're going to go monster HP down poison immunity, and while there's no extra pip to take here, I think that's the best that's going to be offered. Uh, Grease Dice is fine, uh, Self Shield's fine, Enchanted Harp is also fine. But uh, I think these two right here set us up. We can maybe get some regeneration with Latent or something on a future loop and access the Poison Immunity upside. Okay. Take that, you stinkies. Never! Oh, interesting. Meddler stays, so it's these three, the, the level up stay. It's fine. Not super pleased about that. That's not how I thought it was going to work, but it could be worse. We'll go sticky on Squire and also immune to healing. The Foker is four damage top enemy. Okay. It's Bones. He's here. Doing Bones stuff. I'm going to lock that in so I don't lose it. It's good for Thief. Okay, nice. Good hits. Looks like nobody's dying here, which is nice. Lazy, get it together, man. Okay, this is killing the thief. Fair enough. 
Uh, let's go for a flick. I'm going to go for a drop. Kill that. Why did that not summon a slimelet? Does this summon a slimelet? It does. But this does not. Why? Oh, because um, bone the bones did dealt damage to it and only has one health. Okay, so killing the bones outright kills the slime as well. That's a, that's a serendipity moment. All right, big fan of Caldera, and I'm especially a fan of Caldera replacing Meddler, who can summon bones like that. Is this where you're just going to sit now, but What are you doing, man? Oh, I see. Look at that turkey leg, bud. What's going on with this turkey leg up here, man? It's like a full-size turkey leg. Like a butterball up there. Dang, bud. All right, well, he's up there because I'm late to eating my lunch, so I'm going to take care of that right now. Sorry about that flash. Uh, I'm just going to stand up, stretch real quick, uh, use the restroom, grab some water. Uh, I'll be back in a few minutes for some more fun. Please enjoy the kitters that will appear here on cam as well, including this cute guy, S'more, with his turkey leg. I saw that, bud. Uh, I'll be back in just about five minutes here for the continuation of our Blurtra run. This one's been awesome.
All right, we have your turn. Thanks so much for your patience there. All right, so I was thinking about the blessings um, on break, and it appears that the blessings apply in the order you take them. So since we took add meddler after we took bottom three level up, that's the reason we're getting meddler at the start, which is not a big deal, but it's a clarification on how uh, how it works that I did not realize. So the order the curses are taken are very important. Okay, so we're going to take either a cleric here or caldera. I think Caldera is overall just better. And also replaces our worst hero, which is Meddler. During the break, Ultigus, thanks for 120 months. You've done it for a decade. My man. Imperior 54, thanks for 49 months too. And Tony B93, thanks for 61. Okay. Uh, engage on Thief is pretty good. And Chainer's not going to do much better than that. 3 2 2. All right, Lazy, I believe that you can roll one of your two sides that have pips. Thank you, dude. Good gerb. Let's do on Boar here. Huh? That's tough. Okay, boar's damaged, so I can scald here. Huh. Like I can also save thief with block, but let's try let's try killing the goblin out right here. And then go for a uh, flick on the rat. Pretty good. Oh, I didn't use the engage. That's why he didn't die. Okay. Good enough. Yo, to get six of those 500 minutes. Really appreciate the generosity. Thanks for kicking off a hype train, too. Thank you again for that 10 years. Looking like we're good here. Another roller, too. That'll definitely do it. Twin daggers. Okay, twin daggers are cool. Uh, this will definitely have a use somewhere. Let's put it on lazy to fill up pips that didn't exist before. Eh, Caldera can do better here. Love having some cantrips on this flighty, flighty curse, making stuff run to the back row. Yeah, probably should have tossed a Voker back here. That's a good side. Let's toss a Voker back with Lazy. Noise. Oh, not to mention the one health. A lot of benefits to that. Okay, only the bees in front. Let's just hit the bee. We'll flick the archer. We're going to burst. Uh, we're going to... Burst again. I don't know. Let's kill the goblin. We'll be getting the kill till next round, but it's, it's essentially assured. Yeah, this slime's face is great. He's like, hey, you guys ordered some slime? Says right here on the form you ordered some slime over here. Yeah, but I, I can't let you leave till you sign this and say the end. You received the slime. What, you think it's easy for me? I was a puddle a few minutes ago. I don't want to be here.
Well, Soldier is a much improved version of Lazy. And Evoker can take these cantrips, no problem. It's probably Thief's best side here. Hmm. We get Engage. Hit the Alpha for four. That's definitely a start. Okay, three mana, Jester, two mana, Caldera. The soldier has better side. I guess I have four rolls. Let's look for the three damage hit. Uh oh. That's good. Three damage hit. Okay, he's no longer full health, so the engage doesn't work. That's tough. Probably could have seen that coming. Okay, let's see if we can uh, take out this alpha before it summons two wolves. It's getting two wolves summoned here is not like the end of the world, but it's also not ideal. Got him. Place two bottom sides with heal cleanse. Or place the bottom side, okay? Well, Thief does not have a bottom side right now, so that's great. Rightmost caltrips or at the start of the first turn, shield one to all enemies. I think we gotta go shield one to all enemies turn one, and that kind of offsets the health thing we got going on. But um, uh, rightmost caltrips is uh, filthy. It's a lot of damage. You know, three damage cruel on Caldera is not bad. In fact, if we give that the uh, the boost here, that is a very good. Can one shot one of these enemies. Take that. I'm gonna take the two hit on Thief too. All right, three mana, very good. All right, so we're gonna go engage on Caldera here. This gives him six hit. I'll take out this guy. Um, so we're going to hit here, and then we're going to hit, uh, oh dang. I'm going to hit here, and I can go drop and drop again. Yeah, Rogue's very inoffensive here. Not going to be using the med kit, though. That's a lot of mana. Two damage cruel is interesting. All right, here's engage. So we can use engage and kill the snake, which will save the evoker. Sounds good. Nice roll, bud. I can also, who's hitting, is this hitting the evoker? I can engage the soldiers three to hit for six here. That's gonna be even better. Two damage here. We do have some injured enemies, so Scald is not looking bad. Wee -wee. Sure. 
sure is 422. This is an amazing game. Plus one pip to all non-damaged sides. Patient to left side. Two times if I was not used last turn. Okay. I mean, I guess it's plus one block each. Patient on the cruel. Sure. I guess patient on enchanter is a possibility. Okay, three mana ain't wrong. Kind of liking the three block on soldiers because it saves enchanter. Let's go ahead and do that. I'd prefer the damage, but I see why I shouldn't. Yeah, it's been a pretty bad roll here. Gonna lock a few things in so we're not left with a complete dud. Glad we locked those. No? Okay. Okay, so Militia needs to go if we're gonna get this here, which is definitely possible. What does this do? Okay, so that works for our characters. Interesting and fair. Well, it really depends. Might as well try them out. I, I really enjoyed uh, Blurst and now Blurtra. A lot of great modes in this game. I've heard raids also very, uh, very fun. Great. Let's lead with Flick here. Hey, what's up, Defamatory? All right, we got Bell. Bell's actually a little bit troubling because um, they deal damage to all heroes on a lot of turns, so we got to deal with them quickly or we're not at all. Uh, armor and Guardian. At least Guardian can do a block. He's definitely still getting the sticky stuff. He's the curse guy. Okay, two damage all is not terrible. Enchanter may just be dead here, and I'd be okay sacrificing all of the damage to have Fnatic die the next turn. Doesn't seem bad. I'm gonna roll the rest here. I'll dare this time. Three mana, good. Uh, Christine's the one we want. That works. Pretty good. Looks like Enchanter's just, um, well, they're done here. What's the minimal amount of damage I can do to Fnatic to knock them back and then focus on the boss? As if we do flip here, not much. Oh, well, Scald's certainly fine here. Yeah, it looks good. We're definitely going to have some fights like this where we lose heroes. Oh, no. Just going to happen. Okay, cool. Uh, Cleave does look very good. Two mana looks good. One here. Oh, well, if I Scald again, I kill the Slimelit Bones. That's nice. 
Two damage is fine. Uh, I'm gonna lock that. I'm gonna hit him with the Scald here. And we'll go Cleave. Hits and hits. Oh, so drop them. Take that. Add pain and plus two pips to the left side, okay? Okay, three less mana, three less max stored mana, or add spider. I think we're gonna go add spider here. It is technically add spider and add slimelet, but we have some good chaining effects. Let's put that on enchanter. Jeez. Worthwhile. Oh, yeah. Uh, curses are all negative, and uh, the blessings are positive. There's really nothing good about curses, though they can sometimes have some uh, synergies. Poison seems all right. You know, engaged poison seems pretty good. Roll here. Yo, Proxis, thank you so much for that sub support. Really appreciate that. Said it before many times, I'll say it again. Recurring sub is the best way to support my content. Just thank you all for the continued opportunity to be here. 12 years and running. Happy to say I think we're making our uh, best content right now. I'm certainly enjoying it the most. That's for sure. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and engage uh, Caldera so we can take out the Shade. Shade's just kind of an annoying enemy to deal with overall. Um, okay. So, if I hit here... And then I hit... Here. We're setting up an okay scald. Who's hitting the enchanter right now? Is it just the bones? Just the bones. Well, feel as if we can do better here. Let's hit, uh, let's hit this one. Let's just go for a Scald and see where that puts us. Definitely does not put us in a bad position. Everybody's alive. I think for me, everybody being alive is uh, good enough. All right, let's, let's see if I can heal myself with this. Okay, it does work. Should be kill. All right, Warlock instead of Evoker is probably a yes here. I think Blaze is a very powerful spell, and uh, Bloodlust is not inefficient in our current setup. I'd say Prince is all right too. It's a little bit, a little bit weakened right now. Prince would take the uh, the Cantrips pretty well. Prince's special abilities: if you get uh, one damage, one shield, one heal, and one blank, you can do 15 damage. Which, with having seven characters, getting one of each of those is not uh, is not out of the question. The main limiting factor is we'd have only two heals, one on Prince and one on Enchanter. Well, Blaze is a big improvement to drop, so let's go ahead and take Warlock here. Warlock's a dangerous character, though. Hmm, here. Essentially, if we can't take out these illusions on the first round, we're gonna have a bad time. Ooh, Ben Spoon. Roll five blank sides at once. We did indeed just do that. 
So I'm gonna take Soldier because I know it kills an illusion. All right, looks good. Caldera also kills an illusion. Or mana is good. Two damage is good. That's great. One more row. All right, nice one. We do have the option of casting some other stuff too, but I think this is going to be it. All right, so let's kill an illusion here. Let's kill an illusion here. Let's flick this illusion. Who's the big money damagers here? It's the sniper. Burst Burst Skull doesn't look bad. Seven left, so we even do another burst. Okay. Eh. There's only two in the front row here. Interesting. Could get a five mana return on Blaze here. Not uh, not bad. Oh, I suppose killing the fountain doesn't actually do anything right now. Let's uh, nuke the spider here. And we'll cast uh, burst. Burst scald. Scald again. All right, that's gonna have to be good enough for now. Nobody's dead. Yo, Beachy Keen, thanks for 14 months. Appreciate that continuation. Thank you, thank you. Oh, the Jester died? That's tough. Because he had pain on the one side. That'll happen. Alright, so if we boost here, we can kill the sniper. Our stuff's so expensive right now. Scald's five, huh? I mean, the Bones is already dying and, and the Archer is too, so there's not like a huge incentive to cast here. I guess we just go Scald and that gets us into the back row. Fair. Add Mana Gain to all signs with exactly one pip. Okay. That's uh, really good on Rogue, actually. All right, my goal here is to get enough to blaze the golem would be the initial start. There's Monogain Poison. Ooh. I like that on Warlock. Okay, cool. So we're getting we're getting it at minimum. Now let's see here. the best way to damage everybody start by 
Going for a flick here. Burst here. Gonna cleave here. Okay, we're at six mana on the Warlock right now. Anybody else I can damage right now? There's not. Everybody that can be damaged is damaged. So we're gonna use this now. We're going to blaze the golem. And then we're gonna cast Scald, which I think will look pretty nice. Looking good. Looking great, in fact. Alright, so kill because it's cruel. Dagger is probably fine there. We'll have to use that on ourselves as an enchanter. We can. That'll definitely be adequate here. All right, Venom or Wizard? Not super pleased on either of these, but I'd say uh, out of the ones we got, the... Inspire's probably... Yeah, we can actually Inspire Chain the Bloodlust Warlock hit in a lot of cases here. Though losing access to Scald, which is a damage spell, definitely hurt. I'm semi-tempted to... Uh, Grab Venom here. Or go random. We should have five level twos here. Rogue Soldier, Guardian, Enchanter, Jester, Aldera. So six level twos. Let's go random. You know, Forsaken's pretty cool. I should go like this. Yeah, the Inspire uh, Bloodlust is definitely a combo in some cases. It can be quite good, for sure. I'm gonna give Guardian the four block. I should give him a chance to block something. Boy, howdy, that's a lot of bones there. All right, who's hitting the warlock? Just the bottom bones. Fine. Now nah, let's go for cantrips here. Yeah, those need to be reversed. Three damage, best hits. Three manas, very good. Okay, this says target ally becomes immune to damage this turn. That's cool. Okay, you rolled your pain side, so you're dying automatically. Awesome. I like this guy. This is going to be a difficult one for us. Uh, okay, let's hit the spider, which will summon a slimelet. Let's, uh, flick this bones. Let's hit this bones. Burst here. I know he's dying already, but... Scald is such a good setup here. Okay, we can go Scald and Blaze. Oh, never mind. No Blaze here. Maybe I need to Blaze first? 
Yep, that's the one. Then we scald. That is a pretty nice opening round. I'm going to withhold my mana here as well. Hey there, Violet. Yeah, we've gotten two character adds on this run. It's been a, been an interesting one for sure. Really one of our first Blurcher runs ever, so cool to actually have one going. That kills Forsaken, so probably not. Actually, with the Guardian Sticky, that no longer kills. There. Damage. 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 Wow, awesome cantrips. Rogue just basically won that for us. Thanks, Rogue. Uh, let's fix these items before I forget. Nope. Rain of Arrows, Ice Cube, Blessed Water. Heal 3 Vitality, Stasis, Rain of Arrows. Those are all fine. I don't think we have a use for the Stasis right now. Yeah, there's no shuffling to be done. Place top side with one damage. Duplicate? No. Patient left side? Fine. Okay, plus summon sides or expose edges. Top and bottom here is two times to incoming damage if gain no shield. Damn. It is very hard for us to gain shields here, so that's uh, that's a tough one. Summoning circle is also tough. I think we're better at dealing with summon adds than we are dealing with mass damage hits. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's still it's still single use. So stasis refers to if we added other things to modify this, like. Uh, if we got um, an item that replaced multiple sides of other hero sides, we could keep Caldera's side with the ice cube. It's a good idea, though. Uh, I think Summon Circle is what we're taking. He's summoning three wolves here. Yikes. The kind of stuff we worry about. You know what I can do? If I can get seven mana, I can blaze the alpha. That's gonna be that's gonna be the way to go. Okay, that could be Silhar. Thanks for the clarification. I'd believe it. Okay, we got enough to blaze the uh, alpha now, that's good. Definitely worried about these sides on, like, a, a fresh playthrough, because that's, like, 15 health worth of wolf being summoned. 18 health worth of wolf being summoned. A lot. Also, I'm moderately worried about Cantrip hitting the alpha right now. That's why we have the rogue locked. Had to be done. Okay, so we're trying to save Forsaken now. Forsaken is indeed saved. Okay, that's uh that's the round. If I had to guess, I think those uh, plus summons are probably going to catch up with us in a loop or two. Okay, Forsaken can't really cast anything. It has 
two damage self heal pain. Does that mean we die with it? We do. Uh, Rogue being a dodge is actually pretty good here. Come on, bloodlust sign. Well, I am unopposed to losing people here. Let's just see how this goes, though. Looks like we don't need to lose anybody. Okay, let's bring him down to 1 HP. good. Sharp shot's alright. I like the range 3 damage here for versus Knolls. Also the XQ with the reduced health looks pretty nice. Let's take that to reconfigure Rogue here. Admonic gain to my size exactly one pip. I guess that's okay here. Okay, let's try this stasis uh, caldera play. It was mentioned in chat here. Okay, well. Oh, we have four damage to kill Knolls unless we get cantrips. We don't have any more. Mm. Okay, fair. Oh, we can save Soldier. It looks like Guardian's probably dead here. Caldera does allow one of the Knolls to be killed here, so that's handy. I don't know. I think I'm going to take the two damage heal on Bacon. Okay, that's uh, that's not bad. Okay, so how do I do this then? I gotta burst first? Looks like Guardian is just gonna die here unless I want to go for Bind, which I just might. Yeah, let's go for Bind on Guardian. Definitely set up well for next round. Who's this? Okay, Forsaken can afford that. He rolled a pain side too, so we're good here. Nice. Add echo to the two right sides. Copy the pips of the previous dice this turn. Copy to the two right sides. I mean, that's okay on Caldera.
Okay, let's try this uh, Caldera thing. Okay, yeah, stasis does stop single use from applying. Cool. Good, good catch on that one. I learned something. All right, Caldera's getting pretty messed up here. Uh, one possible out here would be to blaze a troll to remove the bandit, make him flee. That's probably what we want to go for. Let's fish for mana here. Okay, there's mana. So we have the blaze. We have echo. So we're going to get a another four here. Awesome. Uh, all right. Fair enough. Good. All right, Blaze says how much? 13 damage deplete. So the troll's at 14. So if we Blaze for 13, oh, almost. Got to flick him first. Dang. I don't know if we're getting this this turn. It's tough with no cleave. That didn't do it? Oh, they're all in the back row now, so now we hit here, and then we blaze. Okay, bandits out of here, everybody lives. Life is good. Yeah, Caldera is on self-damage here. A lot of very low characters, so it's becoming tough to deal damage. Suggester. Semi-tempted just to uh, grab that on the... Play there, okay, well... I mean... Well, there is not going to do better than that. That's good. Looking for the bloodlust side here. I'm really only the bloodlust side. All right, let's see if we can win here without actually doing that. Guardians on last leg two here with pain. That's tough, man. All right, Warlock lives. Soldier lives. Archer hitting Caldera for three, so if we kill the Archer here, Caldera also lives. So we're only losing Guardian. It's not too bad. Okay, so there is an option here of using bind. Pretty tempted just to sack a few characters, honestly. I'm going to block for two. This way, just refunding a uh, bind here, but we would be able to save a character with that. So that's something for sure. Okay, they both live. But, uh, okay, Warlock can use that now. Okay, we're at three and four here, so I'd have to burst on Caldera to use this, and it costs, may just make it cost more, so it's not worth it. Okay, 
Well, this way everybody's living. That's great. Boom, get roasted. Okay, now it's only two, so we can't use it. Wander is pretty stellar. One pipped all non damage sign. Let's go. To briefly overview our backseat game policy, you're more than welcome to discuss anything about the game, the game's mechanics, or you're welcome to make suggestions. I'll just say for myself personally, I am not really looking for step-by-step uh, -step directions on how to organize my dice, do a fight, or make a party. Though you are more than welcome to make any of those suggestions. Just letting you guys know where I'm at with uh, uh, how I process chat. Some things I don't exactly like, but I will tolerate is if you ask a lot of uh, stuff in the form of a question, especially if you use the word no in question mark at the end of a sentence. I pretty much just gloss over that without reading it. Uh, nothing personal, of course. I just have a system for how I process uh, the questions and comments. And um, the reason I do that isn't because I'm frustrated with anybody individual for their questions. It's just that when things are asked kind of post-mortem like that, uh, I have to figure out what you're trying to ask, then go back mentally and figure out the play that was being asked and then decide if that works and then answer your question. So it's not that there's anything wrong with asking that. I'm not frustrated with it. It's just incredibly tedious for me to get to the end of that conclusion. So uh, for mental fatigue reasons, I generally just kind of gloss over those. Though I do understand and appreciate the desire to help and the intention behind the questions, fine. Um, so just letting you know. Definitely appreciate game discussion and uh, find suggestions very helpful. Though the certain types of comments I have a hard time interacting with. And again, not saying that out of frustration, just saying that because if I don't express um, my preferences, they never become a reality. It's amazing how that works. You don't say what you want, it never happens. Okay, our best side here is the four shield. No, actually the six right here for the Caldera. That's the one. I also think I'm going to be rolling Warlock here. So if we can have a massive opening turn, that'd be great. What is this? Cantrip Shield Copycat. Hmm. Let's take the Forsaken damage, roll these two. Improvement. Wanderer's taking no damage, so that's bad. I feel like we're setting up for like a monster Scald here. To begin, let's execute this spider. Okay, the execute does not summon an ad. Interesting. Sharpshot does not have a block here, so it's basically impossible for us to save him on this combat. That's fine. Let's go flick. Let's go burst. Let's go burst again. Let's go hit on the slimelet so the reinforcement gets summoned. It's another slimelet. Would you believe it? And we'll go scald. Pretty monster turn. I think we should definitely try to get a blaze off on Tarantus, at least. Yep, sure it does. If the pip says kill on it, you can get passive vulnerability. It's true. I'm now seeing if I can get double blaze off on Tarantus. He dies, so that's kind of tempting. What if before Warlock goes, we use the cleave on Guardian? Also, at 15 here, I mean, we're very close to, to double blaze. Yeah, it's just not quite a reality yet. We're going to hit. We're going to hit. We're going to flick. I'm scald. 
And we're going to blaze. But first... Ooh, that's going to put him at 1 HP. Is that who's getting hit here too? Yuck. Okay, maybe I'm not going to do the cleave then. If they're on 1 HP, then they have that... Uh, sickly problem where they have pain on all sides. That's hard to deal with. I dub the adequate. I'm gonna go ahead and burst here too. That's four damage. That's damage two. Okay, it's actually kind of important that we get the pip done here because Tyrannus is biting for 22. Actually, 24 right now. That is rude. That is rude. Okay, we got it at least. Yeah, we do have two bonus hero blessings right now, that's right. And it has indeed been pretty sick. Alright, so hit for three first, then we'll hit with uh, four here. Okay, is immune to damage... Immune to damage does not stop death. Let me just double check that. Okay, does not. Cool, we're setting up for the kill next round. Easy. Add cleave to the middle side. Oh, cleave, cleave range sounds good. Cleave range sounds amazing, in fact. We're on round 97 right now. Okay, right blank. All heroes replace the right side with blanks. So that'd be this side right here. You can see that's not the worst, but it's definitely not good. Cannot roll more than three dice at a time. I'm ready to take this. It is uh, definitely an annoyance with uh, seven characters, but uh, we're getting a pretty good roll most times. We're usually only ending up rolling two or three, so... Take this. Juicy looking cleave. Wow, it's gonna be hard not to lose some characters here, too. Sight is on Caldera. I'll wait for the echo, that'd be best. Right? That's good, that's good. Uh, yes? Alright, so a couple options here. Uh, the option I'm going to go for right now is I'm going to hit these three. I don't think this is actually how we're going to end up doing this. I'm just... First trying to go for maximum amount of damage enemies. We get the, the best bloodlust here. You know what, I'm just going to bind the Jester here. I'm going to call that good enough. Good day there, Relic Killer. What's happening? Dang, Steve 113. 113. Legends in the house today. Monogain. That's fine.
Oh, uh, both Valkyrie and Sorcerer are pretty cool. Uh, I do like the Miasma for bosses a lot. I'm going to take Valkyrie, though. They have a lot of utility. I prefer the sticky on somebody else now. Who's sticky to go? Let's put the sticky on Sharpshot, and we'll put the Cursed Amulet on Broken Spirit. I'm going to give the Demon Pips to the Forsaken so they can res 5 if all goes awry. This is Cleave now. Nice. Oh, Wander's taking a lot of damage. The Brass Knuckle side is actually better. Uh, Echo side is awesome here. Cannot roll more than three dice at a time. So true. We have a pretty good round. Highest pip side is four, so we'll use this first, then this, then this. Okay, spikers removed with blaze. Let's start with that. It's in a good, good uh, place to begin. Also gives mana, so we can blaze again. Well, we could blaze again, but it won't kill the demon. Also, not quite saving the sharp shot here. This might be a, a great use case for bind. Let's go for Scald here. Okay, so we got through most of the sharp shot uh, damage on Chomp. Oh, I still have Cleave ranged. Okay. Whoops. Hmm. Makes me there's probably a better play there, but you know what? That's good enough. I got Execute, that's going to take out the Chomp real easy. Also takes out the Demon here, so we're looking really good. Uh, cannot roll more than three at a time, that's so true. Okay, Death Defy looks good. Ooh, that has Paint on it, let's lock that in. Yikes. Uh, the purple pip on Chomp is Summon Slimer in this case. Okay, learn Flare, 5 damage deplete. I mean, I think I do take Flare. It's just another another way for us to be flexible with damage. Does the manure work on anybody here? Not really. All right, we have a triple summon uh, imp on that demon, so that's definitely a target right now. Uh, three damage best side right now. Well, these are both mana gain. Let's see where this ends up.
Who's hitting Forsaken so hard here? The sniper. So if we snipe here, Forsaken saved. And then if we uh, mana up. Go for the hit here. Let's go for flick. Let's go for burst. A little slime. Okay, everybody's on the back row now. Great. So we can kill this sniper. Oh, well, there is two from being saved. So if we uh, hit this caw, everybody's alive. Oh, no, it's the archers that are going for it. Okay. I see them. Vine's definitely fine here, too. Maybe I'll go uh, first here, which saves a lot of damage, and then just bind. Not Scald. Bind Caldera. Looks pretty good. I dub the Adequate. Well then, that's some punch and stuff. 11 damage right now? 11 damage, plus 10 from Defy. Most unfortunately, he did was able to summon the imps here. Oh, hey, we're going to be able to kill Demon with a sharp shot. Awesome. Warlock may be dead anyways. We can resurrect them right afterwards. We can also fish for Death Defy here for Warlock. Uh, if we can roll three. Three damage seems pretty valuable. Okay, there's Death Defy. Awesome. I'm just going to take this in case. Look for best side here on Jester. We didn't get it. Punch this imp. Damn. Let's go Death Defy on... Warlock, so we can utilize this mana. Let's kill this imp. Who's killing Sharp Shot right here? These guys. Bind is going to be cheaper than going to get the damage on that. Well, for me, that looks good enough. Tough round. That's a lot of damage. Big damage here. Death Defy is not wrong. Mana's good. Damage is good. Damage is good. Dodges. Nah, we won. That's fine. Okay, so... Go Death Defy on Warlock. We'll start with that. Make a slime here. I'm going to... Kill Imp here. Kill the... Actually, hold on. We can Scald for a kill if I do this right. Let's, uh, let's flick the spider, and then we'll scald. Ooh, memory live. Nice. Oh, boy, it's the hand, and the hand has a 16 damage all side on their dice. So. Definitely rolling them bones right now. All right, Weaver is a chance at a massive escalation. Also, Ghast is not too bad uh, with having two Resurrection heroes. You know, I think I might actually take Ghast here. Yeah, let's take Ghast. Essentially, if the hand rolls his uh, fireball in round one, we're, we're dead. 
Okay, well, Death Defy on the Sharp Shot seems uh, pretty efficient. Like we're going big money mana here. Love it. Probably our best side right now. Three weekend. Let's go. Three weekend is big right here. Even though we're poison immune, it's still an intense amount of damage reduction. Oh yeah, we got that harvest thing going on too. Okay, we're going to harvest the archer. Is this plus mana as well? Hmm. Blaze seems almost a little bit wasteful on the sabers. What if instead of hitting the slime, we burst instead? And then we can hit here and... Layer instead of blaze. Even then, this turns a little bit whack. We're not very uh, productive here. Alright, another uh, not invalid option would be to do this and then blaze the saber to start to save the sharpshooter. If we do that, we could reroll Valkyrie, though I'm not exactly sure for what. Alright, that was a much more productive round. So we might as well uh, re-roll Valkyrie. Okay, we found the damage side. That's actually super helpful. Okay, all ads are down. Round one. Oh, yeah. All right, well, Death Defy sounds good. Uh, Resurrect would be good next round. We're just going to lock it on for a second so they have a chance to roll that again. Not roll more than three dice at a time. That's so true. That's mana. That's mana. That's mana too. Hoping for the ghast hit there. Didn't happen. Okay, so we're blocking on Forsaken. Uh, maybe I just double bind here? Yeah, I can double bind Blaze. So we sort everybody out. I don't know. It almost seems like maybe... I should let Jester and Warlock die because we have two sides that have uh, Resurrect on them. I think keeping everybody alive is our best chance for next round. I'm just hoping he doesn't roll that fireball. If he does, we're in huge trouble. 
All right, this one reads outright, kill the top hero. So he did. Nice opener here. Why'd that kill Forsaken? Right, because they're, they're injured. Uh, there's nothing that the Forsaken can really do here. Let's just see what this plays as. Boom, get roasted. All right, here we go. Add house cat. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, guys, I am a sucker for kidders. That's for sure. That's for sure. Monster single use. All monsters add single use to all sides. That's actually pretty good. Also, knickknack, knapsack. Very interesting. Bone math is in the house. Okay, we're definitely picking up bone math here. Like, house cat is probably one of the worst uh, heroes to add because they don't level up. They're just cute and a kidders. That's nice. Monster single use does sound good. Bone math helps us clear a lot better, though. And I think uh, Knick Knack Knapsack is making sense. If we get some item quality after this, we can start getting a huge amount of like very good quality items. Yep, that's the one. Bone Math, Knick Knack, Knapsack. Okay, there's our item. Oh, we gotta go to the end here. Alright, Jester, Seer, Meddler. Seer's actually quite bad with the um, plus spell cost per cast. I'm gonna go ahead and give the, uh, the goop to Priestess here. Yeah, in most cases, tier 1 item is going to be better than not having an item. Almost all even. Where'd 2 come from? Okay, 3 mana, good. 2 damage, good. Uh, I'll lock the defender, I guess. So we can only pull 3 max. Or, yeah. Let's take this out. Nice opening round here. Looking great. Scrapper or Pilgrim? Oh, Pilgrim's much better than the Defender here. Just for the reuse side. Replace the middle side with dodge all damage enemy effects this turn. Uh, nobody needs that right now, but this could be useful later. You even use that like on a Tarantus fight or something. I don't really want the death side. Uh, thanks, Metaler, for summoning the bones, I guess. Thanks. All right, stun on Pilgrim is going to be awesome here. Should save Priestess, for sure. Going to save Priestess. Yeah, I haven't even seen any anvil offers in 3.0. Not to say they don't exist, I just haven't seen any.
we go slay on spiders that summon a uh, slimelet, it does. Oh, we got some serious bone math happening right here. Almost. I guess, actually, if we hit this, does it kill the bones too? It does. That's just bone math, guys. Easy. You know what? I'm gonna summon a bones. Oh, never mind. I was gonna slay the boar, but it gets summoned to the front. Fair enough. The combination of bone math with the minus HP is a really nice effect. So nice that it chains forward. Replace heal self heal sides with basic shield sides. Retain the original pips and other keywords. Clumsy shoes are just junk. And this is okay. All right, quick break for me. Just gonna stand a stretch real quick. Use the restroom, grab some water. Encourage you to do the same. We'll be back in just a moment for some more action. All right, I'm back. Here we go. All right, well, as long as it doesn't kill, it's fine. So let's take it. It's also fine on Thief. This is also good. Uh, I don't think we're doing better than Stun. And maybe I should be giving Pilgrim the um, sticky side. I'm going to look at that once we're through this fight. Okay, so... Let's slay the spider. He did not summon the... Oh, he did summon the slime and it just died right away. Got it. Got it. Let's flick this bee. Burst this rat.
And that's just simple bone math, everybody. Uh, okay, we didn't quite get there, but everybody's dying this round. Fine. Glacia for meddler, I'm in. Ultis, fine. convinced on stun we can't roll more than three anyways so might as well just go for it oh yeah i was gonna look at the sticky dice still think it's probably gonna go on her but what if not what if keep them rolling okay weakens fine weaken stops five damage here All right, let's uh, flick the spider and kill the slimelet. Weaken the troll. Well, it didn't do damage. It still did the weaken, though. Interesting. Do chill them. It looks like Glacia's hit was a little bit wasted, and that's fine. I'm just going to throw it out there for one damage. our first run, uh, Sendor, so not sure our first, uh, feasible run. No high score for me currently. I haven't looked at the leaderboard for this mode either, though I assume there's probably some pretty nutty runs, a little more, uh, crazy than Blurst. Uh, even though the curses are tougher, it is... definitely a lot higher on the blessing scale. Essentially, in this mode, you're about breaking even on blessings and curses. Maybe a little bit over with the picks. Depends on the style of curse you get to, the tier 2 or tier 3. I'm just going to take the death to fight to save priestess here. Bit of an awkward round. Looks like we are good. Okay, let's take a look at this uh, sticky. Does anybody else have a good sticky sides? I mean, sticky sides on uh, Pilgrim is definitely not terrible. The problem is that we already have minus to heal sides here, so Priestess is pretty whack. Ritual Dagger. Replace the rightmost side with her via the foremost defeated ally's death. That's actually cool. Be a lifesaver later. All right, Slippery Dice cannot lock more than two dice. How does that work right now? Does that just kill our run if we take this? Cannot lock more than two. Cannot roll more than three. I think this actually kills us. Uh, random it is. First turn, all monsters reduce damage taken from abilities and dice by one. Thanks. Add Dispel and Potion to the middle side. A spell is actually really quite good. Might use that later for like Tarantus fight. So now they have one armor and take one reduced damage. That's gonna be that's gonna be tough. As long as we survive round one, we should be okay though. Ah, yes, okay. Just gonna remove some armor here. Set up for next round. Let's weaken the snake. Or tell.
Oh, stun's probably good. Uh, <laughs> Death, I mean, he is about to die anyways. So. Not out of the question. Ninja with copycats, okay. Collector is also inoffensive. I'm just going to take Collector here. Place middle side with shield 3 bloodlust. Okay, that's nice. Let's give that to uh, Priestess. Lock Priestess here and unlocked him, I think. It's minus damage on the opening round, really put a damper on my strat, which was not unexpected, but also a little unfortunate. Does this do damage if it doesn't do poison? No. He's not running. Interesting. This is a super scary opener. Immune, indeed. I guess Thief is getting dropped here, that's fair. Dice to target. I guess we can use this stun here, potentially. The militia. Why are these dying? What's going on with that? Oh, they got pain sides. Okay. Indeed. Okay, we block Jester here. Oh, okay, not quite. Okay, what if I go like this, and then I hit the bones, and then I cause a chain reaction like this? Still no good. Well, that's that. Okay, so the enemy having, having pain made the blind stay there. Fair enough. Well, let's get a little hinky here. Very hinky.
very yikes. So, as I was suspecting here, I think, uh, you know, add character is going to look good until it doesn't. I think maybe some other, uh... Other stuff would have been a little more functional. But we're definitely not out of this yet. Still, we're still in the game here. Two left sides undergrowth. Rightmost side with one damage copycat. Okay, that's better than nothing. Definitely just not a bad opening roll. Check it out. Alright, how much trouble are we in here? Quite a bit, because we can't properly kill the illusions. That's the one hitting Glacia. Alright, I mean, miraculously, everybody's alive. Gambler, Spellblade, Spellblade for sure here. Oh, good. Mandatory. Oh, boy. We're in trubs. Not let three wolves get summoned. I have to at least weaken on that one. Yo, Optimus Perm, thanks so much for 13 months. Jingles KC, thanks for six months as well. Sorry for missing you earlier. Per usual, I relate to your mission notification. I do sincerely apologize. I have a terrible case of humanitis myself. Part of our no-frills format. There's no pop-ups, alerts, or sponsored gameplay. Thank you all for this amazing format. 12 years and running. Ooh, I think, I think I run my die here. I think I'm getting that feeling. Still willing to hold out hope, but uh, it's looking very grim right now. So on this run, we had like a really impressive starting round on most combats. But as soon as we got a few curses that remove that, uh, not so much. I guess what this is making me realize is on Blurst and Blurtra mode, uh, we're probably looking at not using a mana-centric uh, strat. We want to have more of a pip strat. Um, than multiple blues because the blues are great up until the point you become cursed and they become less efficient. Reinforcements 5. We are so done here. Done. Say goodnight to this one. It was a good attempt.
All right, Jester, you're a bit you're a bit messed up there. I dodged just to, to make him angry. There you go, bud. That's right. Give him one more round. All right. Well, that was a pretty good Lurcher attempt. So on this one, we started with add characters. We learned that blessings are applied in the order they're taken. Um, as well as quite a few other things, too. It's pretty nice. All in all, not bad. Let's see the stats on that one, huh? That's too big. Man, those tier two, tier three curses are really um, difficult to get around. Yeah, it's still a really good run. I think I think I'm gonna run. Uh, I think I'm gonna run one more blurcher here. Let's give it a try. Let's at least look at some blessings and make a decision here. Like, I think out of the modes I've played so far, I've liked, uh, I've liked Blurst the most. We've done Curse, Blurst, and Blurtra, but, uh, Blurtra does seem like it could be, uh, the most busted. Curse start, Curse after each fight, gain a blessing after each boss. So you're gaining... That's tough, man. Curse Ultra is same as Curse Mode. You get Blessing 10 value. So Curse Ultra is just like Blurst or Blurtra, except for you don't get the Blessing at the start. Let's see what we get here. I kind of want to try Mountain again, but we just talked about Blues falling off. Let's go Basic for now. We can make our own. Add Armor, Monster Single Use, Monster Blank, Save Spell, Autumn Leaf. What is Autumn Leaf? growth to the rightmost side. Huh. Oh, I like monster blank. Monster single use is also impressive. Um, save spell. Uh, this carried the very first blurtra run I, or blurst run I did for quite a while. Uh, is very good because it's heal, cleanse, and shield five for one cost. Shield plus is also interesting. Survive is also good. Plus one to all incoming healing, plus two empty max HP. This is definitely nice. Yeah, single use is definitely strong, but I think for an opening round, like we want to get this on loop four or five or three or something like that. So. Um, left side with blank. This is the only monster blank I've seen left side and left side's a pretty nice one. Right, let's do it. Let's do a roll here. Let's see what we get. All right, hero growth. All heroes add growth to all sides. Monster HP down. We saw that was pretty good. Perceptive plus eight items offered. Uh, I think Hero Growth Underworld Deal seems uh, decent. Yo, Captain Trips, thanks for 34 months. Cheers. I think if I'd roll again, I would. Are they gonna let me flee off this one? Maybe. Nope, same one here. You gotta get to level three in order to kill the run there. Started the first turn, plus two mana. It's definitely not bad either. 
Level 17 level up phase isn't bad either. We can go here, here, and here. So we can go monster HP down, fizzing, hero level up, or hero growth underworld deal. Hero growth is really nice when we get uh, things that are double or triple use. Let's just see how it feels real quick. I think I might be doing one more roll here. We're not getting 19, that's for sure. Underworld deal is heroes to have no penalty for dying. Which is, in fact, pretty good. Yo, Destrina, thanks for 128 months. Appreciate that. Nice, Lazy got his three hit. Druid's fantastic. So, like, if I go Lee here. This puts me right back here. So, you got to get to the end of fight three. That's definitely fair. Yo, Xerox 10, thanks so much for nine months. Appreciate you. All right, y'all, on that note, I think I'm ready for uh, another game today. That's been very fun. Attempts on Blur's Cursed and Blur Trial. We'll definitely be back for some more Slice and Dice, but I'm ready to play something else right now. Let's play some Spelunky 2. Hey, my controller's plugged in. Nice. All right, first things first, let's get in the mine shaft. Let's get Jay uh, warmed up here. Some penguin in the hole, as is tradition. Hello here, and then we'll be into the run. All right, here we go. Penguin in the hole. Penguin to the moon. Penguin to the moon. All right, Penguin 180. Turn around, chair, sit down. Here it is. Blammo. Jay's on the case. Lunky 2 daily begins right now. Here we go. <laughs> Been going Volcana lately. I think I'll be keeping that up. All right, free spike shoes. I like those. Dude riding a turkey. Come on, man. Hmm. How was that? Yeah, that's pretty tough to get to. I don't think that's happening.
Gonna check this out. All right, so there is a shrine back here. Noted. There's Turkey Town. Uh, yeah. It's tempting, but it's be really hard to get to. We have bombs down here. We do not. Power pack is for sale, which is a temptation. If I had power pack, how would I feel about getting that? Still pretty bad. Don't worry, I'll rescue you, turkey. That's fair. I don't know about that with Yang, man. There's no way we're getting these turkeys on the shrine. Let's just... Um, turn in a couple turkeys here and call it good. Totally gonna be more shrines on this level. Just you wait. Just you wait. That's a kidders. Hey, hope you're having a great one too, Sunder. Thank you. Well, I'm not gonna bother with the ghost urn. I'm already holding two main sized turkeys. That's tough to get around, man. Right, there's the key and the dwelling in one convenient locations. I'm gonna bomb from down there. It's here. Little J, Mole Slayer. Can't believe that hit me. Oh my god. Almost died, man. It's not going to be right. Let's do it again. That's better. No? All right, fine. Unhand me, kidders. Mm. 
Shouldn't have done that, man. Don't run mad. Watch out. Nothing good happens when you run mad. As proven by that guy. This is almost certainly the Vlad prison area. There's the key area. How are we going to get back up here? It's a great question. going to be a fall damage if I don't use a rope. It's my fault for having that caveman fall the way he did. This guy right here. Huh. Interesting. And we're off. Drill level or nah? Nah. Yo, -ho, we sprung in. Today's a good day to have Vlads, dude. Okay, Moon Challenge is right there. Awesome. Also, hey. Cape will be a temporary replacement until we get Vlads Cape here in a moment. My man Jay Styler. I told myself I was going to break one shy of getting through there, and it did. Just like I predicted. guy. Okay, dead guy is not getting us uh, to Kapala, so it's one of, one of the right. And we're off! Yo, there's a drill level right here. I only got five bombs, so we're definitely dropping the drill. Okay, no angered Kali. That's nice. We know we got a little bit of drip drips here. It's a fact. Actually, I guess no drip drips. Fortunate. Where is me damsel? Bombs there. No damsel. I guess we can take the helping hands from Vlad's back up if we have to. Ugh. Pretty sketchy climb back with the help. I don't know. I think I'm going to skip climbing back up. I'm not sure. If 
Follow me, sweaty mans. I guess we'll just grab him afterwards. See if it works. No, get down here, guys. Come on. Let's go. We got places to go. You guys, you cannot be... No, you, you can you can jump around the rope. There you go. All right, let's go, guys. Climb quick. Climb straight. Where'd he go? Hey. I know you're having a heck of a time over here, dude. Okay, I get it. I get it. All I get. No, don't, don't stop right there. No, 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 no. Oh, come down here. There we go. Now we're cooking. Okay, so we got Vlad's Cape. We have Kapala, which is doubling, or Vlad's Cape is doubling blood. We have Kapala, and we have Vampires, which are also healing off the blood. They've created the perfect storm to gain a bunch of health. This health rate doesn't mean much in the grand scheme of playing a Splunky 2 run, but if we have all the tools to make this happen at this point, might as well go for it. Really nice we got that third uh, vampire there too. It makes it go much quicker. He's helping. Yep, literal bloodbath. What is this? It's like a... What's the right way down? I think it's probably not this. Oh, it's just a really weird generation. Okay. No problem. There's at least one item up there. Twelve bombs is not just a item. It's uh, twelve items. Go for clean drop down here, see if we can get the quick method. Definitely possible.
Nice. We got easy drop down there, so we can do quick. Have them drop straight down to begin. Now straight down and up against the side. Repeat that one more time. We got him. Get dunked, you oversized turkey. Water, yum. All right, so we're going tide pool next. If we get, if we get green gloves, we'll do chill and skip. And if we don't, we're gonna go tablet route. You can't see a thing, bro. Adam Tusk gonna be here or gonna be one of those. Almost looking like one of those. Alright, so if Madam Tusk is not here on 4 1, it's probably gonna be on 4 3, which could uh, seriously mess up our onk skip timing, especially considering we have the uh, not quick method to do this. This is fine. Let's go. Adam Tusk could technically be here. I guess actually not with the uh, way that it is. Okay, it doesn't look like there's going to be a shrine here. Take a quick peek, make sure that's true. It is no shrine here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Listen here, bud. Take it easy with them bubbles, dude. Clone equipment here. What's up, Molio? A lot of cool people here today. Cool Saturday, man. will be the clone zone. Underwater turkeys, that's too much. Too much, man. He's up here. Let's grab our box here and then we'll clone it. Alright, we did pick up Paste. Uh, paste is really good for the upcoming skip, at least. Saves us about 10 bombs and a lot of stress. Also goes much faster, so now gambling at Madam Tusk is uh, 
reality. All right, let me get caught up. Sorry for being behind, guys. Destrino, thanks for 128. Xerox 10, thanks for nine months. Baby Streak, indeed. And Top Hat, thanks for 123. 10 years and climbing, my dude. The okay, best case scenario here is green gloves. Might as well finish the session. Bump, ba da 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 This is the skip area. Let's just go for it. We're already at a minute. Let's pep our step here. <laughs> so true, Van. So true. Starting on the outside. Let's go. Yo, green gloves. Let's go. Green gloves are a massive benefit to Red K. We basically have full equipment kit now. Love it. Could even opt to do the Chilin skip, and I just might here. Still gonna, you know, kill Kingu. We're here with the Excalibur. Probably not going to go through the Yashapiti room and carry Chilin and all that. What do we got here? Simple gold eye. Simple gold eye. The simple looking urn. It's golden and it's got an eye on it. All right. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Not too much to be done here. Already have uh, shoes here, so Yeti Cave is less desirable than usual. We're also full health, which would be the other incentive to go there. Oh, you got you got squash, dude. You got squash big time. Yo, it's dark in here, man. Bet it's not dark inside the casino, though. It's not. Get that turkey buffet. Let's go. Didn't need it. Just wanted it. Okay, so let's say that had to have blown up somehow. All right. Sheelan, skip time. We're going to make some safety bubbles right here, and then we're going to climb our way to the top. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm going to throw a sticky bomb to the right here. I'm just going to clear the spark trap that's on the wall. And that makes this jump over essentially safe. Definitely much safer than it is otherwise. And I want to be throwing the rope when the laser appears. So we're going to jump over when the laser disappears for that reason. One more cycle here. Got him. Get him, got him, good. Okay, challenge is here. We'll figure out where Waddler's at then. There he is, my dude. I'm gonna do a uh, bomb method here. Why am I down here right now? Wow, that was really dumb. Do 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 do. Bow and arrow in hand. Shlurp. Now you're slurping. Hmm. Some problems here. You know what? I'm good. I will go around. Thank you very much. Later, Tater. That's a crazy level. Oops. Eh. Sometimes an arrow trap at the end of the swimming section, which is really scary. Especially if there's a tadpole in the water. Yes, no shortage of frogs on this daily, that's true. Oh, there's my bow. Excuse me, I was using that. Quick taste test here, one sec. Pretty good. Do, 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 do. Yeah, if we're at a half hour right here, we're making pretty good time for me in a pretty fast run. I'm definitely not a speed runner, but my times uh, have consistently gotten a little faster as we've gone on. Makes sense. Practice makes proficient and all. All right, I have enough resources here. I'm just going to commit to uh, doing normal, normal kill stuff. 
to be a bomb right about here. Oh, there's a crate there. What time do I have? Enough? Uh, not enough? Oh god. Places I shouldn't be, right here. All that for a stinky parachute, would you believe it? Yo, Talos HF, thanks for 22 months. Nice emo combo. Love that one. Just letting this water depopulate here. Good enough. You've been bippity bop today. All right, we did it all the way from 1-1 to Cosmic Ocean on the daily, nonetheless. Going to be uh, taking a short break if we complete this level, as is tradition. I like to wait to get the music started before I uh, actually take my break. So it doesn't appear to be too big. It is a quite intertwined. Okay, let's get the exit down here. Let's just clean this up real fast. All right, we're good now. All right. There it is. All right, it's going to take a short break, stretch my legs real quick, use the restroom, grab some water, and then we'll head fully into the Spelunky 2 daily. Be right back for some more fun. All right, I'm back. Talos HM, thanks for 22 months once again, right before break there. Thank you all for that amazing support. Thank you, appreciate all the subs, bits, donations, Patreon, etc. But most importantly, appreciate the time you're choosing to spend here right now. It's the most important thing of all. 
certainly. This place does not exist without a lot of people spending a lot of time here throughout the years. Glad to still be here enjoying this uh, no-frills experience after this much time. Truly, my format is a one-of-a-kind one experience here on the site. I love it. Okay, another crate here. Kind of weird that two of those crates cost a bomb. Not unusual, just peculiar. Okay, where's Orb 3? We know we have top right exit. Another box. Let's go. Oh, man. There's arrow traps all over this level. Okay, there's Orb 3. Really thought the exit was top right there. I misread it. that up while we're here, huh? Ooh, I did that to myself. That's tough. That's tough. I... I hit the ceiling. That will happen. Alright, so... My cape fell off too. Not the end of the world. We can get it back. Maybe. Hulay! Alright. All it takes to die in Spelunky. One little mistake like that. That's all it takes. Yo, Mousy Pounds, thanks for 12 months. Appreciate that year. Thank you. Thank you. Ow. Okay. Yay, test phase killer. Thanks for 74 months. Mel Torfos, thanks for 32 as well. Too kind, everybody. Too kind. So I will work to try to collect some health uh, as we're playing now, though I'm not going to be uh, playing passively. My experience in Splunky, you start playing passively is the moment you die. Uh, be proactive. Definitely try to get some health and hope for a mummy, of course. Pass that. We'll still be schmoovin'. Yo, Violet Kitten, thanks for 16 months. Appreciate that resubscription. Cheers. Uh, sure had an Orb 2 kind of uh, feeling to it there. I 
definitely played that one tricky, and I paid the price. Yeah, he's looking for us 47 months. Almost four years, man. Hell yeah. No. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I got I bumped my noggin there. That's definitely fair. I did that. I did that. No, GG. GG. So here that stacks up. It's a pretty uh, interesting daily. 18? 26 of the 1,203 players go. That's a pretty tough seed overall. Very, uh, very strong players in, uh, in the daily for sure. Hey, everybody, that's going to conclude our show today. It was awesome. Had a great time with uh, finishing out our Blurcher run and doing the Spelunky 2 daily. We will definitely be back and at it tomorrow in the afternoon, probably about 1.30, 2 p.m. is the estimate for the stream. Uh, we'll have a good one then. Uh, I think we'll be playing some FTL tomorrow. I'm looking forward to getting back to that uh, that classic. Uh, I guess my problem right now is I have just too many games I'm enjoying playing. We got like FTL, Backpack Battles, Slice and Dice, Spelunky uh and quite a few others that uh, i'm looking at my steam list here that i just uh want to play again uh it was an awesome stream appreciate the great time wonderful company awesome conversation thanks for all your questions comments conversation and of course all the support we'll be back and at it uh tomorrow for some more fun until then keep it dapper and be good to each other take it easy